ないの First, record the weight of an empty pycnometer and denote it as E. Next, record the weight of pycnometer with some pearl light in it and denote it as B. Then, fill the pycnometer with water until it reaches a calibration mark and record the weight. Denote it as C. Next, empty the pycnometer. Fill it with water until it reaches the calibration mark and record the weight. Denote it as T. To find the mass of aggregates, first minus B with A. And to find the apparent specific gravity of perlite, divide E with the value of pycnometer with water D plus the mass of perlite E and minus the mass of pycnometer with water and perlite C. First, record the weight of an empty measuring cup and denote it as E. Next, record the weight of the measuring cup with some saturated surface dry cardboard in it and denote it as B. Then, fill the measuring cup with water until it reaches a calibration mark and record the weight. Denote it as C. Next, empty the measuring cup, fill it with water until it reaches the calibration mark and record the weight. Denote it as D. To find the mass of cardboard, first minus B with A. To find the bulk specific gravity of saturated surface dry cardboard, divide the mass of cardboard with the value of measuring cup with water D plus the mass of cardboard E and minus the mass of measuring cup with water and cardboard C. This is the apparatus set up for the testing on compression strength of cubes. First, weigh the cubes by using balance and check the nominal dimension and record the data. Next, carefully center the cube on the lower platen and load is to be applied to two opposite cast faces. Then, apply load without shock and increase the load continuously at the nominal rate until no greater load can be sustained. Then, record the maximum load applied to the cube. To calculate the compressive strength, divide the maximum load with the cross-sectional area of the cube. 